Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to draw an arc using GIMP. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass on Udemy, or you can enroll in my WordPress Masterclass also on Udemy, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna start off by hitting Control N on the keyboard to create a new image. We'll go with 1920 by 1080 and click OK. So first what I'll do is just draw some guides. So I'll go to Image, Guides, New guide by percent, and we'll go with vertical to start and go with a 50% vertical guide and click OK. So to bring that dialog up again, I'll hit Control Shift F on the keyboard, and this time I'll change this to horizontal and click OK. So what we'll do is grab the ellipse select tool so we can click and hold that second tool group and release our mouse over the ellipse select tool. You can also use the E shortcut key, and you're going to click and drag your mouse to start drawing the ellipse, hold the control key to draw it from the center, and hold the shift key to maintain a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. And I'll release my mouse. If you don't get a perfect one-to-one -one aspect ratio circle, you may need to change this value here in the tool options to one colon one. But once you draw your circle, you can click and drag it with your mouse until it snaps to the center guides there. Now what we'll do is draw a square, but we're going to use the square to get rid of this bottom portion of the circle. So I'll click and hold my mouse on this second tool group again and grab the rectangle select tool. And now we're going to come over here to mode and change this to subtract from the current selection. So you'll see a little minus symbol there on your mouse pointer. Now we're going to click and drag and draw this rectangle and release the mouse. Once you release your mouse, you can click and drag inside of the rectangle and just drag it up so that the top of the line there, the top of the rectangle snaps to that guide and release your mouse. So I'll hit the enter key to apply that. So now you're gonna have this circle with the bottom half cut off. And so what I wanna do is come over here to our paths tab and I've got this icon here that's called selection to path. So when I click that, it's going to convert our selection area to a path. So I can click the show hide icon next to this path and you'll see this red line. Hit control shift A to deselect the selection area. You can also go to select none. We're gonna hit the B key to grab the paths tool. So that's over here in the toolbox. And just click on our path we just created to select it. And now if you hold control and shift and then hover your mouse over this bottom line here, you'll see your mouse pointer will now have a negative sign above the paths icon. So click on the line and that will delete the line. So now we have our arc. What we have to do is paint the arc. So come over here, create a new layer and we'll name this arc and click OK. And if you still have your paths tab selected, you can simply click stroke path. Otherwise come over here to the paths tab and click this paint along the path icon. Both are gonna do the same thing. It's gonna bring up this dialog here. So you can go with whatever settings you want for your arc. I went with the stroke line, solid color, line width 15 pixels, and then there's something here called line style. The first cap style is going to ensure that your arc stops exactly at the bottom here, so wherever it meets the guide. These other two options will have it go a little bit further and either square it off or round it off. So I'm gonna go with that first option there and just click stroke. And now I'm going to hide the path, hit the M key to grab the move tool just to get rid of those nodes and the path. So now we have our arc. One last little bonus tip here if you wanna center this up. We're on our arc layer. You're gonna to go to layer, crop to content. So that crops the layer size down to the pixels in the layer. So just the arc. Grab the alignment tool by hitting the Q key on your keyboard. Click on that layer. You'll see it's selected with these little squares in the corner. Align it relative to image, and then just click to center align this vertically and horizontally. And now you have a center aligned arc. Control Shift T to get rid of the guides. And that's how you draw an arc in GIMP. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.